What's the point of getting involved in politics? No one cares what young people think, right? There's lots of people, it's great. My kids heard from their friends that this is happening. So obviously we're just oh, spreading amazing. around. Fantastic. So they came to me and said, are you doing that? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, my name is Ben. Today, Ryan and I will be co-hosting this great event. A little, a little bit about me. I'm currently in my final year of sixth form. I study maths, economics, and biology. Hi, my name is Rania, and I will be co-hosting this event alongside Ben. I'm a final year undergraduate student at the University of Sussex. How has COVID-19 affected Brighton & Hove's environmental goals, and what is being done to deal with these effects? Brighton and Hove recycles 30% of all household waste, whereas the national average is 44%. Why is this, and what are you going to do to change this? Why is the Albion still polluting the sky with light? How you're planning to integrate uh, the climate crisis into the school curriculum? The question is, as eco reps, what would be the most effective thing we can do in school to create a positive impact on the climate? What do you think we can do to stop the decline of wildlife and increase it in the UK? What are you going to do to make our community more eco-friendly? And what advice would you give to young people who want to make a difference in their community? Thank you so much, uh, Danny, for that, for that question. Thanks so much, Lily, and I share your frustration. Um, it is crazy that we aren't able to recycle more. I, I think the challenge that we face as a country and as a city is that the, the people who have been administrating our city a lot lack the ambition that the population does. Thanks, Ted and Olivia. I think I'm going to agree with Peter here. Then badger your school to start investing in some of that because that is no cost to them and it really can make a difference. Speak out and know your power. And I want to really pay tribute to the student climate strikers who I think have just done such an extraordinary job of putting climate change at the top of the political agenda. Locally, there are things we can do as individuals and we need to be made more aware of what we can do as individuals. Um, I don't think it's, it's one or, or the other, because I think, you know, it's that's how you bridge, bridge the gap. What can you do is I think you can make sure you get your voice heard, whether that's engaging with policymakers or whether actually it's taking clear and direct action. I think we need to treat climate change increasingly as if it were a public health crisis. You could even do something as simple as changing where the electricity comes from for your school. So get it from a, a greener energy source like electricity, green energy. Individual actions, I think, are important but actually we need to be working here to get collective action to change the way that we are consuming things in our society. Lobby the council. Right now there is a consultation going on, for example, about reducing congestion. My advice um, is to please get involved. The climate crisis is the fight of our lives and you know, the moral authority you have as young people looking in the eye, our generation and saying basically that we have screwed your future is incredibly powerful. The thing you can do the most is to maximise your potential as students, to work as hard as you can, to work as structured as you can, so you come out of school and education the best qualified you can, so that you can contribute to solving the problems going forward in science, in maths, in communication and the way we tackle, and also coming into politics, uh, uh, being young people who have completely and utterly maximised your potential as students. I think you need to be curious. You are curious and you are here and you are leading. But I think continue to be curious because that's one of the most effective tools in your toolbox. You know, the decisions that politicians are making now are going to be affecting you a lot longer than they're going to be affecting the politicians who are making those decisions. And so it seems to me that the people who live longest with the consequences of those decisions should be the ones that have their say on it, particularly um, when what's at stake is literally the future of a, of a livable planet. So maybe it is worth getting involved and making your voice heard. Share your concerns. Get your school involved in taking action on climate. Find out how to join the Brighton Youth Council by following this link. And believe that you can make a difference. Because you can.